Turkey's Erdogan says Ukraine deserves NATO membership. This post received a score of 6,700, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Swedes punching air RN. No, not really. I am happy Ukraine is getting support. Punching air is a good thing. Like throwing your fist to the sky in victory smiley face. Or punching the air pretending we are doing fist bump like we are friends. Do it with me, bro. Fist bump from the US? And another fisting from the US? Double fisted. That escalated quickly. Triple penetration coming from the UK? Nah, cunts, here comes one from down UNDAH. That is a big, big statement from Turkey. Not really. Turkey was never going to pull some bullshit on Ukraine. There's a lot of business ties between the countries and they both hate Russia. Not to mention that it does Turkey absolutely no favors to lose a decent partner in the Black Sea. Plus Ukraine never has been a dick to Turkey. And now they love Turkey because of the Bayraktar. All right, so far we have support for Ukraine NATO membership from Biden, Erdogan, Bulgaria, and the UK. It's a matter of certainty, at this point. Edit, Trudeau, as well. Edit 2. Poland is for it, too. You forgot Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada. This Erdogan guy is pretty strange. Turkey, Erdogan, hates Russia on their own dictatorial terms. Especially with Russia putting bombs on Zaporizhia nuclear power plant since the graph's shown that if it blows up then a lot of fallout is landing on Turkey's northern territory. So Turkey is probably mighty pissed with that possibility. Isn't there an article in the NATO Charter that specifically prevents admitting a country into the alliance while they are at war? This is NATO policy, in practice, but it's not in the Charter itself. If every current member of NATO wanted to bring them in, they could. They won't, or at least they all seem to be saying they won't, but it wouldn't be a violation of the Charter itself. It would mean immediate world war. That's one of the reasons they probably won't. The next thing that can be done to prevent further invasion is NATO ascension. That means that if there is ever an attack again, Article 5 activates. Which means in the next attack U.S. troops would be in play. If any territory of NATO is attacked, U.S. troops will be involved. (laughs) Ha ha. Russia. We want to keep Ukraine away from NATO. Let's invade them, Ukraine. We're joining NATO. NATO, welcome. Russia, oh fuck. As a Turk, this warms my heart. Slava Ukraine. Question mark, question mark. C-O-K, Yvette. Yes, I probably butchered that. Laughing face. I agree. I wonder what Zelensky said to Edrogon. Zelensky's a true statesman. What about Sweden? Sweden cannot be trusted until the US gives Erdogan those F-16s he wants. Obviously. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.